Well, here we are at my garden, uh, beginning of April, and it looks pretty good. I bet it down for the winter. I've planted some seeds to come up this spring. There's my blackberry bush. My peas will kind of go over there. There's my kale. I'm going to put some tomatoes back there as well. So I'm itching to get out here in the garden and do some planting, but it's still a bit cold yet. Maybe with all that's going on, you guys are interested in starting your gardens as well. And I wanted to show you a really cool product that I got for Christmas. It's a hydroponic unit called the Aero Garden. And uh, I've got some fresh herbs already started. And you'll see I've already started my veggie garden indoors. So it's pretty cool. No need to go to the grocery store with this unit. Let's go inside. I want to show you all about it. We'll start off by showing you my herb plantation that I did in the garden. And I did that a while back. So let's get inside and get to it. Can't say enough about this Aero Garden. This is my little hydroponic garden from Canadian Tire. Got it for Christmas. I'm super happy with it. Uh, basically in here is water, distilled water, and uh, we have some fertilizer. And it's got a little computer on board. Tells you how many days we've been going the time and days till fertilizer. It lets you know um, when you got to add water and fertilizer. This is a liquid fertilizer at the back. These pods come empty and they're filled with uh, foam and seeds. And then of course the roots grow out of the little plastic cones there. This is day 70. I've got mint, um, curly parsley, basil, this is Thai basil, and dill. Uh, and here I'd had some lettuce because my thyme never came up and now I've replanted some spinach in there that's going to come up. But I want to uh, take these out and transplant them because they're just getting a little bit too big for this unit and they're going to get some issues with roots rotting and tangling up with each other, just, just outgrowing its, its little system here. So I'm going to transplant that and I'll show you what I'm going to put in here next. Here's my little pot. I've got some ProMix potting mixture in there. Now we'll just transplant the herbs. This, this just goes to show you what the root system is like. There's the original pod and look at those roots. So a uh, very, very healthy plant. So let's put this in the soil. Alrighty, there we go. There's my herbs. Just going to give it a good water there and uh, I'm going to get on to plant the next thing. But first, this is a little bit of a mess. See, if you take this off, you look in there, it's real, really gungy in there. So what I want to do is kind of clean this out. They recommend to, to bleach it as well so you don't get a lot of, um, you know, mold and algae and, you know, all that kind of junk in there. There's old roots in here. So before I do my next plant, let's clean this out. So as you can see, the unit comes completely apart. In the sink here, I've just got the main reservoir here with a little bleach and water, and I've scrubbed uh, these two things here. There's a few little areas I've got to touch up. But uh, yeah, so we'll just clean these up and then get it ready for the next plant. I have two new kits to choose from. One is the Aero Garden Seed Pod Kit for the Heirloom Cherry Tomatoes. And look at this, they have this new seed starting system. Uh, it's getting time to plant some seeds to get them ready for you know, early summer, spring planting. So what I think I want to do is I'm going to show you this first. Um, so this one comes with the little, um, you know, sphagnum plugs there and you put your seeds in there and this nests in the machine. What my machine had before was actually just this little six pod setup. Look at all these opportunities right here to have some seedlings. Also comes with some fertilizer. So uh, there's that option. And then this is the Aero Garden tomato. This one works with my current setup and just has the plugs here with the impregnated seeds from the tomato. And of course, more uh, food. So I think what I'm gonna do, this takes six to eight weeks to have mature tomatoes. So I'm gonna put this in there in my old unit. And then this one, once the tomatoes are ready to go, I'll transplant them into a pot. And then the seed starter is gonna go into my leek garden. Doesn't that look a lot better? So that's uh, the unit all cleaned up. I just got to add the fertilizer to it. It's been bleached and there's been rinsed really well and there's nice fresh distilled water in there. I've also uh, shortened the, uh, the light here because I don't need it that tall for the tomatoes. So I'm going to put in some fertilizer for my six pod model. Um, I need two capfuls at startup and then two every two weeks. So let's do that. So I've plugged it in and I just need to clear everything here and reset stuff. So I just kind of go through the menus. Okay, start garden. That is what I want to do. I'm going to select. I also am cycling through to the uh, setting the type of uh, things I have in the garden. So I have to do veggies. So that gives them 16 hours of light for growth. All right, so I gotta go back through and set the clock because I got a little bit messed up when I unplugged things. So we'll do that and then I'll start the new garden. So I've reset everything. So now I've reset the garden. So days planted zero time and uh, it's reset obviously the plant food additions. So let's uh, 
put this in here. Oops, looks like one of them's falling down. So let me just pop this unit in here now. There we go. We'll put in our little cherry tomato pods. So what they're going to do is they're going to start uh, absorbing water. And I've got actually the little caps from the last time. This keeps it from getting really dehydrated. So you just pop these on. And then once the sprouts kind of hit the top, then you take them off. Ooh. Some of them don't sit on there 100%. That's okay. Just depends on how they cut the little top for the each pod. Oops, that one really out of its way. And then that's where you'd add water and fertilizer. I'm just going to get this and pop the lid back on. Okie dokie, we're all ready to go for the next cycle. I'll keep you updated. And through the magic of television, here we are 27 days into the tomato plant. Look at that. Wow. How cool is that? They are doing so well. Uh, as you can see, each pod now has one uh, little tomato in there. These are sort of those baby jewel tomatoes. Oh, I'm super excited. When they first came up, um, there's about two or three seeds per each pod. And you, obviously you can just see how crowded they are. There's no way you could have three plants per pod. So what you need to do is you need to pinch the stem off of the other one. So here's an example right in here. I don't know if you can see that very well. There's uh, the second one in here. I just kind of cut it off. So now there's one plant for each growing cell. So I'm really excited. This is 27 days in. Obviously they're growing really, really well. When they start to get taller and flower, I'm gonna to have to pollinate them maybe with a paintbrush so that we get excellent production of the tomatoes. So I'm really in love with this unit and I highly recommend it. So once the tomatoes begin to flower, I think I'll put them in pots and put them elsewhere in the house for now by the sunny window. So I've got my seed starting system, say that 10 times fast. So I'll be putting, you know, lettuce and maybe I'll start some peas in there, maybe some radishes, carrots, we'll see. And then by the time they're ready to go in here and they're sprouting, I'll be able to transplant them outside. What an awesome kit. Well, I hope you guys are doing okay and enjoyed today's video. I'm, I just love that garden. So I'm really excited to see how my tomatoes turn out and I'll keep you guys posted. If you're interested in this unit, I'll put some links down below in the description box so you can uh, pick one up if you're interested. I hope you guys have a wonderful week as always. Take care.